Kong. Uh, I want to ask what makes Bhutan's government agree to um, sacrifice its development and area to build up such a successful conservation plan? Um, Bhutan uh, government has not sacrificed its development um, uh, by saving tigers, but uh, if you look at the uh, uh, I would say it's 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 cultural uh, response of the government. Um, culturally, Bhutanese are very very sensitive people, and uh, they are Buddhist. Uh, so are uh, most other people. Japanese, lot of Japanese are Buddhist, but big demand on whales. Um, so, uh, but they are very very sensitive and very caring for nature. I'll give you a very simple example. I was working in Bhutan. I was walking along a river called Manas River. Okay. Manas, when it enters India, it is known as Beki in Assam. So I was walking along one of the tributaries of Manas River. There were two Bhutanese rangers who were walking behind me. They were following me. And uh, I saw along the river, I saw a small pool of water. Okay, And that was drying. And there were some fish, uh, fingerlings in that pool of water. I just saw it and walked past. And then after walking 100 meters, I realized that the two Bhutanese rangers who were following me, they are not coming. Okay. So I turned back, I saw both of them were busy in catching those fish, small fish fingerlings in that small pool of water that was drying and they were releasing them back into the river. Okay. So that itself shows the uh, conservation ethos or conservation ethics of Bhutanese. I think because of this very strong conservation ethics, uh, Bhutanese uh, are doing it and Bhutanese have the luxury of very few people, less than half a million people. The largest, <laughs> we have 1.3 million people. <laughs> okay, none of the Indian cities have half a million people. We have few million people in any standard Indian city. Okay, so I think they have the luxury of very few people. Uh, the dependency on the forest is very low. Good education. Uh, even uh, in Bhutan, you go remotest of the area, the kids go to a boarding school and study there. And uh, people from down south, from Kerala, go and teach in Bhutan. It's not that Bhutanese are teaching their own, our people are going and teaching them. So, because of this more of a cultural uh, thing, Bhutanese are far uh, ahead of, uh, as far as uh, conservation scenario is concerned.